Hello, I'm Dr. Sarah Diamond, and I wear many hats. I'm President Emerita of OCAD University, where I was president from 2005 to 2020. I'm also a faculty member and university research chair. I attribute my success to, on one hand, my attitude, on the other hand, to the mentorship and support and partnerships that have been a rich part of my life. When I was 11 years old, I told the Canadian journalist and legend, Laurie Lapierre, who uh, was director of this hour, his seven days, that I wanted to change education so that it would be a two-way street between students and their teachers, and that I would go on to lead and transform educational institutions. My roles as an artist, a writer, an educator, and researcher, and leader of educational institutions, the Banff Center and OCAD University were inevitable with that attitude and with that support system. So at the Banff Center, I came to lead media and visual arts and research, and I founded the Banff New Media Institute, which brought together artists, designers, computer scientists, scientists across many disciplines, and companies from around the world to explore and invent the future of new media. I also invited Indigenous arts and media colleagues back to Banff and to the Center to imagine and launch the Aboriginal Arts Program and supported its development recognizing that we were situated on sacred indigenous land. Those programs became center-wide. And it was from Banff that I came down from the mountain to join OCAD University and become president and vice chancellor. Imposter syndrome haunts women. And I've certainly faced sexism in my career, homophobia and anti-Semitism. These experiences built my understanding of the importance of allyship. These have also contributed to somewhat of, you know, a Teflon shell, but deciding how to build alliances and knowing when to be more or less confrontational has been an important skill development, and certainly I've changed over the years. I'm a curious cat. This outweighs fear. I love challenging situations that require constant just-in-time learning as well as long-term planning. There are moments, for sure, when the risks are high in identifying scenarios to move forward without losing one of one's nine lives or an institution's nine lives are required, as is the ability to take action. So what else is important? Well, art, when in doubt, look about. We are art collectors and our home resonates with the vision of many artists across generations and the commitment that they bring to the work that they brought to life. Every time I feel daunted, I really do look at artworks in the room and in various rooms and specific pieces and think of their maker as well as immersing myself into the aesthetic and the message of that work. So I'm speaking directly to you as Humber graduates. Please see learning as a lifelong commitment to a good life, a life full of opportunity, as well as a life where one can adapt, earn and thrive. Please consider how you can give back what you have learned. Be a mentor and be a member of Humber's Alumni Network. Do not fear technological and social change. Get in front of it. Track and understand the trends that are emerging in our world and the impacts on your work and your life and upgrade your skills. Please be open to different ways of knowing the world, both the human and the non-human. Find ways of imagining from different perspectives than your own. Continue to support the efforts in Canada towards reconciliation. Have a wonderful future.